When people talk about the resurrection of Jesus, you may hear it said that the resurrected Jesus appeared to 500 witnesses. This comes from 1 Corinthians 15. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the 12, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. Many people are quick to point out that we have no way of confirming who these mysterious 500 people are. We don't have names, we don't have their stories. This is all true, but that's not the point. Christians bring this up because all of us must come to terms with the fact that somebody wrote this. Let me explain what I mean. Scholars are in unanimous agreement that Paul is the author and he wrote this about two decades after Jesus died. In this letter, Paul had the audacity to say that over 500 people saw Jesus alive, but then he submits to us that not all of these 500 people are still living. Now, why do you suppose Paul would include this detail even though it makes his argument look weaker? because he cares about the integrity of his message. He cares about the truth. Had Paul decided to just make up an impressively large number of witnesses, he probably would never have included that detail. I also find it significant that this statement is smashed between a bunch of other names that he's willing to give out. It's like Paul is challenging the Corinthians saying, hey, Jesus resurrected from the dead. I saw him. Don't believe me? Ask Cephas. Ask the 12. Ask James. Ask the other apostles. I can keep going. I got 500 names here for you. Some of them have died, but I still have a lot. The fact that Paul was willing to say all this demonstrates that he really believed Jesus resurrected from the dead and he believed that there are plenty of eyewitnesses, including himself, willing to testify to the resurrection. This is significant for us reading this today because we were not there, but he was. This is of course just one piece of evidence for the resurrection of Jesus, which fits into a much larger cumulative case. If you'd like to hear a longer explanation why I believe the resurrection is a real historical event, then check out this video. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching.